Okay, the uh, injectors are all in place. Changed my mind on a couple of them, so uh, I'm going to have to reroute the fuel pipe at the end. You can't quite see that there. There you go. So I'm going to have to reroute this a little bit. But there's a bit of scope to do that where it's located, so that's fine. <coughs> Got this one in place. As you can see, it's held in place with these C-clip type, almost an R-clip type of job. Uh, so there's a tiny little O-ring to go in place first. So I'll try and tuck that in. Uh, I'm just using two bits of the, the tubing that was cut off. To, uh, to get these the o ring seated, that's nice, <coughs> and then line up the injector in position, and hopefully get the R clip to locate. <coughs> Yep, that's got it. That's uh, something I've just noticed is that you can unscrew these obviously. They're just pushed, in, pushed into place with little brass ferrules. Um, but once the, once the injector's in if you hold that in situ, you can actually rotate it to orientate the or orient it the correct position that you that you want it to be in. Uh, there's a guide as to uh, how many degrees of vertical, and if you think of a circle as 360, then uh, you know they generally say they shouldn't be pointing up; they've got to be pointing anywhere from zero degrees pointing straight down to 90 degrees on the horizontal so anyway so that's two of them in so we get the rest of them in the only one that you can't see there I'll pause and then come back to it there's a tremendous amount of filings involved with it uh, you can see that we've got the two in straight here opted to go in straight here because that's got some giving it in that pipe uh, so that, uh, by the time I adjust that bracket a little bit around the back that will be fine. This is the only one that has got to go on a bracket uh, because I can't get around this. This is the inlet to the uh, fuel rail. Probably could get around it if I was so minded but it's just easier to put this in on a remote setting. Uh, this is not what's going to be used, but just as an example. So we'll mount it onto a hole, a mounting bolt for the plenum, and then by setting the injector vertically through a 10mm hole, we can then cut the pipe to an appropriate length. And uh, Bob's your granny. Uh, we've got the plenum chamber is massively high, and then the engine cover on top of that. So we've got lots of scope to do that. Uh, so we'll get all the injectors in place and then looking at linking, daisy chaining in effect, the injectors together. So fuel will come in at one end, daisy chain around and we'll get the return back out from the other. Um, I've seen one video on a four cylinder engine where they actually link the injectors, let's say one, three, two and four so the fuel will come into one out into three three back to two and then two to four and then from the floor, uh, four would be the return back to the fuel tank so uh, yeah not seeing any guidance whatsoever on not daisy chaining uh, in fact, there's an alternative video that does show where they're daisy-chained, but not 
on an eight cylinder engine. So um, we're going to have to see. Um, I suppose I could make a phone call and ask a question. Uh, probably be worth doing that as opposed to getting everything in place and then finding it don't work. Anyway, we'll see where we go. We'll get this in. Cheers. Right, we've got the uh, connections onto the tank. The flow and return uh, gas pipes are inside the plastic conduit. Uh, and this is a fill pipe. The fill pipe just needs a, a tie wrap around there, as this is a gas tight housing, supposedly. Um, the fill pipe secured and goes through uh, a rubber grommet. Um, the hole's been treated to try to prevent any, any rusting taking place. The, um, so the fill pipe secured across there, the hoses are currently making their way through to the front, the ground, ground connection is uh, up there on the chassis bearer and we make our way through up to the front trying to keep away from the the uh, exhaust etc. Uh, notice that this is loose as part of me kind of delving about so there's heat shield so I'll get another bolt in there to secure that properly uh, yeah so we're getting there the um, route through for the gas pipes and for the uh, electrical connections were a right pain because there's no no obvious route um, the layout being such that you can't quite get at the uh, the chassis itself to connect to you can't quite get to the floor pan to connect to so a couple of uh, couple of options were explored um, but as it stands now we're going up facing the front of the vehicle, up the left hand side. So, we'll have a look inside the engine bay. Okay, tipping down the rain here at the moment, so it won't be too long. Now, the injectors as they stand are going to be altered a little bit. Uh, this is the, the wiring loom through to the rear, and this is the, the flow and return both of which come and terminate into manifolds. One is a solenoid and one's a return manifold to secure it. The injectors are humongous and learn from my mistake because the uh, proposal was to put them on the inside, on the underside of the inlet manifold. I opted, in my wisdom, to put them on the outside for ease of uh, checking in the event of a fault so that you could scope them out or get a test meter on them etc. Uh, I thought they'd be easier to, to work on in the event of an issue. However, a uh, little uh, lack of vision on my behalf but the existing injectors are below and that's the injector rail injector rail, the fuel rail now the if indeed I ever have an issue or when I have an issue with an injector it's going to be a right pain in the arse because I'm going to get the gas injectors out to get the fuel rail off to get the petrol injector out so maybe with hindsight they should have gone higher up the vertical part of the inlet manifold. They can't go on top here because you don't want it. The, the injection spray would spray onto the metallic surface. It needs to go directly down, so it needs to be in the upright section so it can spray directly into the in, into the engine without uh, hitting the 
the metalwork and running down the sides etc. So I've got a couple of alterations to do to this one at the back and the two at the front there because that's impinging on the inlet manifold. I thought they'd cleared the inlet manifold but that's proved not to be the case. So uh, anyway, a bit of a learning curve but never done it before so that's, uh, that's the way of the things. I'm sure that once uh, you've done a few of these it starts to fall in place pretty pretty quick. So the ECU is connected over there behind that bunch of gubbins connected to the inner wing. Uh, so we've got all the electrical connections to do, a couple of these injectors to alter. Now when I say alter, I'm going to put them onto mounting brackets. You might just be able to see that mounting bracket there for the third injector back on this side. Um, so we're going to do something similar to that, so that they'll clear the inlet manifold. Uh, I spoke to the company that supplied this kit, and for every injector, I think all in all, we've got uh, for, uh, 24, 24 plugs. There's the 8 for the cylinders, and then we've got this situation going on, where we've got a male and female. So as well as the injector connection, we have a male and female for each injector. Now, uh, they tell me that you have to cut these plugs off and uh, cut the, the signal wire to the petrol injector and solder in. Now, why they don't provide, I mean, these plugs are on for a reason, so why they don't provide you with uh, the leads to do a proper connection, I'm not sure. I've scoured their website and I can find some, but they're not the correct ones for this vehicle. So, uh, there are some that relate to Toyota, uh, but unfortunately not for me. So, they tell me that the, the adopted method uh, which they say is the common practice is to cut these plugs off and then solder them in anyway so lucky me so um, so we've got all that to do as well so that's for each and every one of the eight injectors anyway that's it for now catch you later enjoy <laughs>